Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are still in New Zealand, we're at my parents place. It is no secret here in New Zealand or in Australia that the price of lettuce has completely lost the plot. It's you know anywhere from $7.50 per lettuce up to $12-$15 a lettuce and that's just crazy because lettuce is easy to grow and there's so many other alternatives to lettuce that you might already have growing in your garden. So today I am going to share some of those substitute lettuce options. The great thing about growing food at home is that you have access to so many other parts of the plant that are often discarded when it is grown commercially or provided in the supermarkets or at the farmers market and a lot of those things are actually really good substitutes for lettuce. Learning what parts of the plant are edible and how to use them can actually double your food supply overnight. Lettuce is a leafy green that contains mainly water and so these substitutes for lettuce actually provide a whole lot of nutrients and they can be used in multiple different ways so whether that's stir frying, pickling, um, in a salad, in a sandwich, growing food that has multiple uses is a great way to utilize the space you have available and provide you with a whole lot more food in a small space. So there are two main ways that lettuce is commonly used and that is to make sandwiches or to use it in salads. Of course grab yourself some lettuce seeds and get them planting whilst you start utilizing the other greens that you have in your garden. So number one is calendula. This is an edible flower and both the flower and the leaves are actually edible. The leaves have a, quite a bitter flavor to them but popping one or two of these in your salad or in your sandwich is a great substitute for lettuce. The flowers are also great in salads and they attract the bees to your garden so they're going to help increase the pollination which is going to increase the amount of food you're going to get from your garden. So it really is a win-win plant and it's an edible flower that I um, always have in my garden. Number two is nasturtium. So if you have followed my channel or my pages for a while you'll know that I love to utilize nasturtium. It is something that grows incredibly wild. It is um, basically a weed and it provides an abundance of food in both the leaves and the flowers and even the seed pods as well. Those are edible and can be used to make pickled capers um, and I have some of those nasturtium recipes on my website so I'll link them below for you. But nasturtium is a great one that you can use in a salad or in a sandwich. It is quite peppery. The leaves are more peppery than the flowers but you could use both of them in both salads and sandwiches and it's a really easy one to go and grab and it's usually the leaves are quite big so they are perfect sandwich size. Number three is baby beet greens. So if you are growing beetroot in the garden you can pick off some of the baby beetroot leaves and use those in a salad or in a sandwich. They're also great in stir fries and soups as well. When you buy the salad mixes from the supermarkets often they'll have some little baby beet leaves in there and they have beautiful red veins on them or they can be entirely red or green so they add lots of color to your salads and to your sandwiches. Number four is rocket. Rocket is another peppery one that you can grow in the garden and it grows really quickly and it's super abundant. Rocket is great to add on top of pizzas, it's good in salads and it's also good on a sandwich. So Rocket is another great substitute for lettuce. And if you plant Rocket at the same time as you're planting your lettuce seeds, you'll probably get Rocket a whole lot quicker and so you can start utilizing that while you wait for your lettuce. Let's talk kale. Kale is often used as a substitute for lettuce and it is great in salads on a sandwich and it's really easy to grow. So the way that I like to use kale is chop it up really fine and that way it's not as tough and hard to eat. So really fine, lots of vinaigrettes and salad dressings also helps make kale taste great. But in many places kale can be grown all year round. So that can be a substitute for lettuce for you for the whole year which is a great one to have in your garden. You can always chuck it in the smoothies and things like that as well. And with most of these things if you pick the younger smaller leaves they're going to be softer and more delicate so those will be really really good to have in a sandwich or in a salad. Another weed that you might have in your garden is purslane. This one is one that grows really well in Perth because it's kind of like a succulent and so it can handle our really hot temperatures and dry 
conditions. So purslane is a weed but it is edible and it's free and it can be really really good to use in salads, on a sandwich, all the things that lettuce would be used for. Like most of these things, especially the weeds, you want to know exactly where they're coming from so don't be picking them from the side of the road or anything like that. You want to make sure that they don't have any nasty sprays or um, you know chemicals or anything bad on them so if they are in your garden and your garden is organic then that is a great one to use. So this is a strange one and one that's probably not very often used and that is sweet violet. So this ground cover down here it is a sweet violet and it produces really pretty purple flowers with a really nice scent. Those are great used in cakes and baking and a really really nice edible flower. So sweet violet leaves are also edible. You don't want to be eating a whole lot of these um, and they do have quite a strong bitter flavour but picking some of the young ones to pop in a salad or in a sandwich can be another great substitute for lettuce. Rainbow chard, you knew this was coming. Rainbow chard is one of my favourite things to grow especially in winter and the baby rainbow chard leaves can be used in salads or in sandwiches as well. So you don't want to be eating a whole lot of chard raw because it does contain some oxalic acid which is better to be cooked off when you're using it in stir fries and blanching it and things like that. But a few baby leaves is fine and I use it all the time in my sandwiches, in my salads. The baby rainbow chard leaves are a great substitute for lettuce. Celery is another great one. It has got multiple different uses. You can use celery in a salad, in a sandwich, as well as in a stir fry, in soups, raw, with peanut butter or some marmite, and can make a really great substitute for lettuce. Lettuce is crunchy and fresh, and it's full of water, which is exactly the same as celery. Again, cabbage is another one of your vegetables that you can grow at home that has multiple different uses in the kitchen. So if you want to shred up cabbage really finely you can use a mandolin and that is amazing in salads on sandwiches obviously you can make your coleslaw you can use it in stir fries soups all the things and along the same lines we've got our Asian greens bok choy um, tat soy choy sum all of those sort of Asian greens can be really good substitutes for lettuce. So quite often I'll use the thin leafy bit on the end of the bok choy in my sandwiches and salads and then I'll save the stems for stir fries and soups. Dandelion greens, this is another edible weed that is great for salads and sandwiches. So if you do have dandelions growing in your garden then you might be able to utilize those and get some free food. Another leafy green that I have growing in my gardens pretty much all year round is sweet potato. So sweet potato leaves are edible. Pop these both in a salad and a sandwich. Also use them like you would lettuce cups to put little, make little mini tacos. Um, I like to use the lighter younger leaves if I'm using it fresh because again sweet potato can have some oxalic acid so you don't want to be eating a whole bunch of that raw. So it is important to note that some greens in the garden will have higher levels of oxalic acid than others. That is why a lot of the bigger leafy greens are usually cooked first or blanched to help reduce some of that. So just use a little bit and pick those little younger leaves. Baby spinach leaves are really good to be used in salads or sandwiches. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different varieties of spinach. Chickweed is an edible weed that you might have growing in your garden and it's a really good substitute for lettuce. It's got really really small fine little leaves and flowers and it's kind of like sprouts that's how I would describe it and you can use that in a sandwich, you could use it in salads and it's also great topped on a pizza. Carrot tops and radish tops can also be substitutes for greens, for your leafy greens. And if you are in New Zealand right now there is an abundance of watercress and that can be a great substitute for lettuce. It's a lot more peppery than lettuce but it has heaps of flavour and lots of nutrients and it's growing wild at the moment. Parsley is a herb that can also be a really good substitute for lettuce in salads and sandwiches. It has 
heaps of flavor, heaps of nutrients. It's really good for you. And it's another edible green that you might already have in your garden. And once you have all of these greens that you can use in salads or sandwiches, you can pick just one or two off each, especially if your plants are small, are young, and that way you're going to be able to make your greens go a whole lot further than if you just harvest off one plant. There are so many other types of greens that can be used as lettuce, so let me know in the comments if you've used any of these or if you are using other ones, because this will be a great place for people to come and get some inspiration and get out into the garden and find some lettuce substitutes. The other great thing about having these substitutes for lettuce and knowing what parts of the plant are edible is that you'll have greens available all year round. So in some parts of the world you can't grow lettuce all year round and so these some of these substitutes will be great to fill in those gaps where the climate is not quite right for lettuce. 